get into relationships because you get pussy whipped. Now, disclaimer, I'm not saying you can't have great relationships. I too once had a fantastic relationship until I was heartbroken. Chad chick. Chad chick. Stop caring so much, bro. Avoid the drama. You've heard about mystery. Women love mystery. They want the guy who's mysterious. Why has she always turned on by the mysterious guy? Today I'm going to give you 11 clear signs on what you need to do to truly master mystery. Smash the like button, bro. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's get straight into it, man. What's up, boys? I'm back again with a mastery video on mystery. 11 signs that you need to look out for, that you need to demonstrate in order to truly become mysterious. My name's Oli, aka The Meister. This channel is my method, where I talk real authentic game, attraction, comfort, seduction, all the elements you need to truly start winning in this game of love and romance that we play. All right, man, let's begin. Number one, the first sign to mystery, be calm, cool, calm, collected, be stoic, be relaxed. Act like you've been there before. And the more dates you go on, bro, the calmer you will be. It, it, practice makes perfect. No, practice makes repetition. Okay? You can always do better than your best. Sign two, talk less, bro. In order to be mysterious, bro, I didn't say lie. Just don't tell her the whole truth. She can read chapter one, but when she's with you, bro, you give her a couple of pages. She should never know your whole life story. She should never know what you're going to do. You need to be very unpredictable. When you're mysterious, bro, she will stay. You will stay in her head. Number three, how to be mysterious. Avoid drama, bro. You don't need to talk. You don't need no pillow talking, bro. You don't need to gossip. You don't need to really entertain any type of bad behavior, bro. Mate, you're there to dig guts. You're there to have great dates. You're there to put her back out. And then drop her off, bro. Or go back to your house. No sleepovers, bro. Keep it professional. You don't need to get into relationships because you get pussy whipped. Now, disclaimer, I'm not saying you can't have great relationships. I too once had a fantastic relationship until I was heartbroken. Chad chick. Chad chick. Stop caring so much, bro. Avoid the drama. Mystery. Be less reactive. Punish the bad behavior. Remain stoic. Check it. No shouting. No arguments. No being vaginal because she upsets you. Hey, listen. I don't respect what you've done there. I wouldn't do it to you. Don't do it again. Low tone, firm tone. She'll be sucking your dick very quickly you'll be digging the guts very shortly no homo no homo no homo five you should really do it daily bro make sexy eye contact i've said it and i'll say it and i'll continue to say it on my channel bro if you master eye contact bro you will capture her soul i say all the time bro when you go on dates bro and you're sitting down and the girl starts to cross her legs and squeeze them tightly bro she's dripping dripping guts watery bro Master eye contact. If you look away before she looks away, bro, you're losing. Anytime she looks away first, bro, you're winning. When she looks away, hey, what, what, what are you looking at now? I'm up here. Concentrate on me. Are you nervous? It's all right. I'll be nervous too. It's funny. You, you said that you wasn't going to get nervous. It's all right. I like me too. Put pressure. Calculated pressure. She wants dick in mouth. Number six on how to be mysterious. Always hold frame. Body language, demonstrate higher value, chest up, chin down, walk like a boss. You don't need to rush, bro, unless you're in New York. <laughs> walk slowly, bro. Put your foot down purposely. Anytime you put a footstep, bro, you meant it. When you walk through the club, bro, you're walking like you're on the runway, like everybody's looking at you anyway. Give or take these Donnies that always pushing through and sweaty and try to knock your drinks over. I don't really like those guys. But for the most part, bro, be calm, be cool, be collected. Do everything purposely. And just to add on, bro, 
how you hold a hand, how you kiss her, bro, how you keno. All these things come into holding frame. If you're talking more than she's talking, you're losing. To be mysterious, you must listen more. I talk less. Always. She's going to go home. She's going to say, I had a great day. He was a great communicator. You didn't do anything. You added value and you listen like a boss. If you talk more than she does, bro, you're losing. And you normally tend to find, bro, if you talk more, she starts to lose a bit of interest. She starts to look like she's getting bored. And then that means that you're losing already. And that means that she's controlling the frame. Think about it. Be creative. Think on your toes. Be reactive. Be instinctive. Every now and again, things are not going to go to script. Every now and again, she might chuck you a shit test. Every now and again, she might throw you a curveball. It doesn't mean that you cannot perform. Okay? The more you date, the more scenarios you'll be immune to. Keep watching me, bro. Keep watching content. All these things help you. And it's just about being sharp. Just be sharp, bro. Think about boxing. He hits you a couple of times. Bro, eventually you're going to have to catch and counter. You're going to have to. You can't keep taking jabs to the face, bro. Think about it. Number nine. We was talking about demonstrating higher value as a man in order to be mysterious. You don't need to talk too much. But when you talk, add value. And this is tip number nine. When you talk, you must add value. I always say when a woman comes into your life, bro, whether you've been in a short-term relationship or long-term relationship, or even in just FWBs, bro, she needs to improve and then you send her to the streets. If she doesn't improve while she spent time with you, bro, then you didn't demonstrate high value and you probably wasn't a high value male in her eyes, okay? Just something to think about, bro. I didn't say you need to fall in love. I didn't say you need to simp. What I'm saying is when she comes into your life, bro, she needs to know that, oh, you know what? That guy was a great guy. Maybe he'll take me back. Maybe I can get back into his rotation. Dan, be scarce with your time, bro. Be scarce with your time. You can't be seeing her more than twice a week, bro. I know you boys. Some of you are sleeping over. You, you do know, by the way, that if you sleep over, that counts as two days. <laughs> tragic, tragic. So some of you don't need to claiming you're claiming that you're seeing her two days a week, but it's really four. So you're seeing her more than half the week. Shocking. You should be embarrassed, especially if you don't want monogamy. But then what I've noticed recently doing consultations is you guys claim you want friends with benefits. You claim you want rotation females, but then you guys are giving girls boyfriend treatment, boyfriend energy, buying gifts, sleeping over. Does the embarrassment not stop? Unless you want monogamy, bro. If you don't, then you're doing too much. And then you wonder why she leaves you. Number 11. Last but not least, bro. Try not to talk about you too much. Your job is to download the data. Download it. A great date is when she goes home happy and knows absolutely nothing about you. You can get to that stage, bro, and you can master mystery. These are the same type of girls that will be blowing up your line, bro. When can I see you next? I had a great time. I miss you. I want to kiss you more. They start sending you pictures without you asking. This is the level. This is the level. <laughs> Guys, subscribe, like the video, support me, man. Let me know in the comments if there are any other elements of mystery that you know. <laughs> see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.